what is the grief recovery method? Today, Jeff and I are going to introduce to you the grief recovery method and share with you exactly what it is. That's right. Hello, we are Jeff and Tony Brayback, the founders of Our Little Sparrows, Pregnancy and Infant Loss Support. Now, if this is your first time listening to our podcast, we invite you to check us out at ourlittlesparrows.org. Mm -hmm. All right, Tony, so today we're going to talk about the grief recovery. So let's start by simply just defining what is GRM, Grief Recovery Method. Grief Recovery Method is an action-based program for people who may have experienced a significant loss in their life and they have, a feeling, have feelings of maybe being stuck and not sure how to move forward in their life. This program provides you with tools and kind of challenges your current thinking of what grief is and how you think your grief should be um, and should be, I guess, expressed or dealt with um, in, in today's society and gives you tools on how to cope with loss and address some of those feelings in a healthy way so that you can move forward in a way that is hopeful and not, we're not saying that you have to say goodbye to the memories of your loved one and things like that, but um, just helps you to move forward with those memories and um, look forward to your future. Yeah, I mean, I totally agree. One, uh, one quick, I would just interject one quick thing. Yeah. If I was to ever try and describe, you know, what is grief recovery, I said, well, it's a process at which, at which you learn to live through your grief rather than past right or over or your around grief it. Yeah. or around it right mm -hmm. yeah yeah it's something that takes you through a number of steps and it's not something that you can just you know put your um, feelings and memories of your whatever loss you've experienced kind of up on a shelf we actually you know want you to take some steps to look at those memories and and we actually have you go through a process where you kind of look at your past sure and um I mean, that's the beauty of it mm -hmm. i mean another thing that i say is you know this is a process where you get to take an inventory of your life up until this point yeah and you see how events in your past have framed your mm -hmm. your perception or your um your look at certain things right. and um you look at how you were taught to cope with things like death, loss, disappointments, right. and how that has shaped who you are today. Right. And I think the word cope is such an ambiguous word, to, uh, word too. It's more mm -hmm. like, how do I deal? Right. You know, how do I get over? How do I, how do I get past this? You mm -hmm. know, that's the way I think the frame of mind that people are working from. Right. And I think a lot of people think that you can, you can get over your loss. Um, there's this idea that you know when when am i going to be get past this when right. am i going to be over it like there's a time frame like there's a time frame where yep. there's a process there's an a to b step you know one two three four five and that's not really the case um and so we have a tool that we think is effective and that is um, something that you can apply to any type of loss yep. and it's a, actually kind of like more like a skill set um, right. that we have um that is not really well known, um, but mm -hmm. we um, kind of take the, I don't know, basics of right. of learning to deal with things and just kind of look at it in a different light and yeah. to give you um, more of a, I guess, a healthier view. Yeah. I mean, almost like it was, as if it was a course or a class you took in high school. Right. You know, like humanities or soci sociology. It's like, well, we should probably have a course on grief yeah. or at least, you know, maybe framed in a different way, but obviously having to do with how to right. deal with difficult situations in right. life as they come, because yeah. it's not a matter of when or if, it's a matter of when. Right. I think you're right, because oftentimes we are focused on how to attain or obtain certain things, like how sure. to get well, a college degree, <laughs> how to get a job, yeah, yeah. you know, how to get a spouse or a girlfriend, boyfriend, yeah. and, you know, a family, and you're, you're, the expectation is to always achieve something. achieve or gain yeah and we are not taught how to deal with things when we right. lose or things don't go the way that we expect sure. or have planned and so if we are going to have conversations like mm -hmm. this is how you know you achieve success in your life this is how things like that how to right. achieve your i don't know 
best self or whatever it is out there, we also need to talk about what happens when yeah. things don't go the way we plan. Yeah, and it's not like we it's not like school doesn't teach us adversity. They no. do. Right. You know, through like, you know, athletics and, mm -hmm. and sticking with it even when things are difficult and challenging. Right. But grief is a whole nother that's it's, just that's just not the same thing. Right. And it's definitely more on an emotional level, which right. we are often afraid to go yep. to the we emotional level emotion. because it can be vulnerable and it can yep. be scary and it means putting yourself out there. Right. Um, but we are emotional beings and mm -hmm. we need to have the tools to deal with things like grief and loss and disappointments. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, we get the feelings of like we're stuck. We feel isolated. Right. And um, like no one understands what I'm going through. Mm -hmm. But you probably might realize through doing something like grief recovery method that you're not as alone as you think you are exactly and um we're, we are all going through some kind of grief or loss right in some way and i mean just as a disclaimer obviously we're not therapists mm -hmm. and, and um, we're not professionals in that in that right. arena although we do teach the grief recovery method mm -hmm. um it's it, we're not therapists right. but it, it has a lot of benefits and it's mm -hmm. not a replacement for therapy either mm -hmm. no no, in fact, we, I, I encourage people to continue counseling or seek counseling alongside doing the grief recovery method. The grief recovery method is a tool, yes, um, it, but it does take you through a process and um, cause you to reflect on things that are in the past and, right. and to have that alongside with other support networks like counseling or, you know, just having um, maybe other, like, people from your church to support you, your close family and friends. This is all part of, this is not just the one thing that can, right. that can just help you or fix something for you. This exactly. is just part of a, part of a, a bigger, I guess, toolkit. Yes, that exactly. Say, yeah. um, that is, I think, highly effective. Um, I think it's something that you should have in your toolkit of, mm -hmm. of uh, how to deal with dis disappointment and death and things like that. Um, but it's it's not the only one. Right. So if you can pair it or do it alongside with other things like counseling or therapy mm -hmm. or other support things that you're doing for yourself, then I think that's it's all the better. It's more, yeah, it will enhance, right. I think, your... And so it's not necessarily just for people that are currently going through therapy or have done therapy in the past or counseling. Right. So if it's not just for them, who is the grief recovery for necessarily, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, I think a grief recovery method is a tool that anyone and everyone can use. Um, now, we as certified instructors of this program um, and not having a license to work with minors, right. we can only work with adults, right. so 18 and over, but we have also a program that can help adults, parents, teachers who work with kids who live with children to implement this at home or in the right. workplace if you're working with children. So right. it is for children too, um, just depending on the grief recovery specialist that you have. Um, so if you're with Jeff and I, we cannot work with minors, but we can work with the adults to implement this with children. Right, exactly. And But there are grief recovery method specialists that do have a license to work with children, mm -hmm. and so they can also, do so both. they yeah. can do both. They can serve everyone. Yeah, so you probably one just need one. to do yeah, check yeah. with the specialist and see if they're licensed for that. Um, but other than that, it's for anyone. Um, this is a tool for everyone that can that can use it. Um, if you ha whether you've experienced the death of a loved one or death of someone that was significant to you um, or not, this is for you. If you've had other losses that don't involve a death of someone, maybe it's a loss right. of a relationship. Maybe it's the loss of a job. Yeah. Um, maybe Don't limit yourself, right? Yeah. A lot of people are like, well, my grief is not as bad as someone else's, right. so I shouldn't seek out something like the grief recovery, right. but they should. Right. That's not necessarily no. fair to you and true. Right. Right. Yeah. And one thing that we know at Grief Recovery Method is that there's over 40 types of different losses, and that can yes. be from anything from loss of a pet to even moving, mm -hmm. the grief that comes from moving from, a, from one city to another city. Um, loss of health, maybe there's an illness um, that you've 
are experiencing or in your family. Yeah, the loss, taking care of someone. Yeah, the loss of the change that comes with and the loss of like having certain hopes or dreams not mm -hmm. come to fruition because you've had to make adjustments to make for changes to taking care of either yourself or for someone that yep. has an illness. Um, you know, feelings of just being stuck, like, you know, things are just not panning out the way that I'd hoped. Right. Um, so grief recovery method is, is for all of that. So, mm -hmm. um, and you know, things like maybe you're just feeling like you didn't get a chance to say what you wanted to say to someone before it was too late, or, right. um, maybe Absolutely you regret, said something yeah. and you regretted it and it's too late mm -hmm. to make amends. So when you have um, feelings like that or that are unresolved or yeah. um, like you just, I don't know what the word is, like uh, unresolved. Definitely like like unsaid, mm -hmm. um, unfinished. Yes. It's op it's an open chapter. Right. It was never written. Uh, the and ending of the a, chapter was never. Yeah, closure, I exactly. guess you could say. Um, then the grief recovery method is a good tool. Right. Yeah. So why do we need the grief recovery method? I think is a very valid question i mean most people out there are like i'm already like 40 years into my life and you're talking about taking inventory of the last 40 years like that just seems way too way too much mm -hmm. and that's really point number four when do we need it <laughs> yes but why do we need it <laughs> let's go back yeah. to that okay um it's because well if you think about it the tools that we were given growing up on how to deal with death and loss and disappointments and things like that. We were taught to, you know, not cry. We we're taught to work harder. Um, taught to just push things aside and just keep busy and and or just replace it with something else. You know, right. if your dog dies, well, it's okay. Just get another one, right? No, yeah. no big deal. Um, those are things that are not necessarily helpful. Um, they can in the moment and you know help you feel good in the moment but they're not necessarily helpful in the long run necessarily right. um um we're taught not to express our feelings we're taught not to cry you know crying is a bad thing um we are not given the proper tools the grief recovery is the grief recovery method is a good healthy tool that we need to include in our day-to-day -day life um it's going to help you um look forward to the future, not necessarily forgetting or saying completely goodbye to those that we love that have passed on or to the right. pain that we had experienced. Mm -hmm. um, that's not what we're saying, but you, this tool will help you be able to move forward mm -hmm. and um, look to the future with hope and, um, you know, something to, I don't know, something positive. Um, not saying that, you know, you're not going to experience loss again, sure. but you will have the tools to to better deal with it um, once it once it happens again because we know that we're gonna deal with a lot of different kinds of losses in our life yeah exactly mm -hmm. and like I was saying a second ago it's like someone listening to this is wow this sounds all great it sounds all good mm -hmm. but it 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 sounds like it might I feel like it, I'm too late you know mm -hmm. I'm 40 I'm 50 I'm 60 I'm 70 years old you know right. type it seems thing. like it's a lot of and, a lot more than I want to do right yeah and when Jeff says taking inventory of your life up until this point it's like whoa it's that's overwhelming in itself mm -hmm. and I think to a certain degree that does set the proper perspective mm -hmm. but to, to even kind of uh, you know take it down uh, you know a few more notches and get a little more focused um, what, what would you say to someone who says, I'm 40 some odd years old, I've I've got a family, I've got kids to focus on, I can't do this right now, mm -hmm. or it's it just seems like I'm too far down the road in life, things mm -hmm. are the way they are, they're set, you know? Yeah. Like, this isn't, this isn't something that's for me. Right. Well, I would say that um, it's not too late, you know, there's no time um, better than the present to right. work on on healing if you think about it um when you have an injury you don't just let it be and let it heal by itself mm -mm. you don't just lie on the couch i mean sometimes you have, well, to, have to lie on the couch procrastination yeah well not too, but and then saying, you finally like, go to the doctor okay. and figure it out yeah but yeah. you do need to take some action you need to see the doctor the doctor's going to give you some kind of treatment plan right. And you need to follow that treatment plan. It takes an action. And sometimes it requires big steps and sometimes it's just little steps. 
but it is an action on your part that you need to decide for yourself. Right. I don't want to be like this anymore. Exactly. I want, I don't, I don't want to be stuck in this anymore. I want to have um, a hopeful outlook for the future. I want to be able to move forward um, without being felt like I ha I'm being held back all the mm -hmm. time. And so that requires action steps on our right. part. We can't let have someone else do it for us. Right. We, it's not just going to happen on our on its own. And there's nothing that that there's nothing that you can do to prepare yourself to do the grief recovery method. Like just living your life for the last mm -hmm. for me, I'll be 44 in May. But just living my life for the last 43 years is exactly what I need what I needed to do in order to do the grief recovery. Like mm -hmm. like there's no there's nothing you need to do to get in the right place in in your life at this moment. It's like no. All that, all that baggage that you've been carrying with you, all those uh, things that happened over, you know, the years of your life, they're exactly what you need to focus on. Like it's already there. It's mm -hmm. it's part of it's your history. It's your past. Right. There's nothing that you need to do to prepare to take this course. Right. Yeah. I mean, um, just you just need to bring yourself and your yeah. life experience with you, and that's all you need in pen and paper. <laughs> right. Really, and there's nothing. So the time to start is today. You yeah, know, that kind you of can. Thing. Now, I mean, obviously, in terms of healing steps in general, there's no time like today. Right. Um, grief recovery method, I mean, there's different tools out there. And whether the grief recovery method is, I think, is for everyone. But, I mean, to have a consultation with uh, a licensed or certified um, trainer like you and I. And right. to see, like, if this is the right step for you. And I think in most cases it is. Um, so I don't really think that there should be anything that should hinder you from taking steps towards healing. Right. I mean, regardless of saying that, I know, I know there's going to be those situations where people feel overwhelmed and they're mm -hmm. like, well, how, how do I even start a process like this? Like, it just seems overwhelming and too much. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. And I understand that because I mean, it is personal it's your life and there's things that have happened in your life that can be very it's you know you maybe haven't spoken about it in a number of years and it's hard to you know relive some of those things but we have a have um a way to where we hope that you feel safe that it is everything that you share with us is confidential mm -hmm. and we break things down into small steps and we provide you with um, the correct tools, the correct choices that you can make to help you work through some of those things. And so that's basically how the achieving hope and healing is. It's just, um, it's a series of small and correct choices that you can make towards saying, I, I don't want to live like this anymore. Right. I want to live a free, a more free, hopeful and um, a better life. Um, I'm not saying that everything's going to be fixed. It's not going to fix everything, right. but you will have come away with a better outlook and more hopeful outlook. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, it's awesome. And I know uh, for the most of us, for the most part, I mean, we don't even know how to define grief, what it means and, and what it is for us. Mm -hmm. We just know that we, we just don't feel complete. We feel like something's off. Mm -hmm. uh, and I know uh, in the future we're gonna we're gonna have an episode where yeah. we actually de dive deeper into grief and what it means. Yeah, that's actually our next episode. Yeah. So, um, stay come back for the next episode where we actually talk about what is grief and how do we know that we are grieving. Um, and so, that's what we're gonna dive into next episode. So, Perfect. Yeah, I think that's kind of for this episode so we hope you found this helpful and um, we want you to know um, you're not alone you are loved and and your baby will always be cherished and we are here to support you in any way that we can if you like this episode and want to see another video podcast you can click or tap up above if you click or tap down below you can go deeper with tony and i in our grief series the pregnancy journey grieving from diagnosis to the loss of your baby and beyond thanks for joining us